Hello and welcome everybody, I am Fox Fire. this is the Fox Gaming Channel, and this is episode 5 of my Pokemon the Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color. Alright, in the last episode we finished up taking on Heather of the Grass Club, and now we just have one more duel we have to do, and then we can find out where the Club Master Nikki is. So hopefully we can take her on and get the... Uh, Grass Club Metal. Alright, so without further ado, let us take on... Who's that? Kristen? Kristen? Christine? Christine. I'm gonna go with Christine. Sounds better, I think. <laughs> I can't read today. <laughs> but we are gonna take on Christine. Alright. Are you looking for Nikki, the Grass Club Master? I don't think she's here at the club at the moment. Would you like to take care of the plants? We could duel with cards if you prefer. Would you like to duel Christine? Yeah, let's take her on. All right, we'll play a single match with four prizes. Don't take me lightly just because I'm a girl. All right. All righty, and then real quick, I just want to say to you guys, um, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to stay up to date with every video that comes out as soon as it comes out, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know somebody else who would also enjoy the channel too, share them a link as well. Um, I also have a Twitter account that I try to stay pretty active on and I'm going to try to be using that primarily for updates on the channel. Uh, we'll see how it goes from there, but I do have a link to my Twitter in my channel's description, uh, as well as in the video description below. So, uh, without further ado, with more chit chat and trying to publicize my channel a bit, let's just get this duel going. So, first things first, let's check up uh, Ponyta real quick. Okay. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Rattata out, and then Ponyta and Growlithe are going to get put on the bench. Okay, now let's see who goes first. And they go first. That's okay. That's all right. I think I'm actually going to use that Rattet as a little bit of a, of a shield right now, just so I can get Pony Toss set up. Sacrifice one card to just get a nice little start up. So I would rather have Chansey out being a huge damage sponge because Chansey also has an ability, was it Scrunch I think that's called, to where if you uh, flip a coin and if you get heads, uh, Chansey won't take any damage, but status ailments do take effect though. Okay, so another fire energy on Ponyta, and yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna sacrifice Rattata. Okay, so now we should be ready to do some good damage with Ponyta. And this should do double damage due to type weaknessing. We have, we have a Zapdos in the deck. I'm not really putting Zapdos in the deck. Um, especially this Zapdos. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the numbers, the numbers on the damage look good and all that, but like on this one, Thunderbolt, discard all energy cards attached to Zapdos in order to use this attack. And these four Lightning energy cards. No, this is something that I'm not going to even use. Like, even if that's just a, a one hit, just to finish off another card, that's 
That's still ridiculous. I mean, it's other move, Thunder. Flip a coin if Tails that ghost does 30 damage to itself? Eh. Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, this is definitely going to be a card I'm going to get rid of as soon as we can uh, replace it. But let's uh, attach Fire Energy to Growlithe. We can get Growlithe set up to attack as well. And we'll use Flame Tail. And it should do 60 points of damage, which should win us this one. And draw our prize card. And Christine has no available Pokemon in the play area, so we won! Awesome! A little anticlimactic, though. That's okay. So we got a Evolution Booster Pack. Awesome! What do we have in here? Gengar, that's actually not a terrible one to have. Once during a turn before attack, you may move one damage counter to one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another. And then Dark Mind, if your opponent has any bench Pokemon, choose one of them, and this attack does 10 damage to it. So that's pretty good. Do 30 damage to uh, Pokemon they have out, and then an extra 10 points to a Pokemon of our choosing on their bench. Good way to get some stuff set up. And then uh, Butterfree. I honestly don't think I've really used Butterfree any of the decks I've played with. Oh, we got a Rapidash. Flip the coin if Hez's attack does 20 damage plus 10 more. If Tails, it does 20 damage. Or 20, yeah. Jilly, you flip a coin if Hez during your opponent's next turn prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to Rapidash. That's actually not bad to have. So what else we got here? Haunter. Okay, then another evolution pack. Jolteon, another Rapidash, Graveler, Golem. Okay. Put my train car game is fun, but so is taking care of trees. I believe Nikki is at Ishihara's house. Maybe you should go meet her there. Okay, so let's go to Ishihara's house. And Ishihara's house should be right here. Okay, so this must be Nikki then. Yep, I am Nikki, the Grass Club Master. What, you were looking for me? Oh my, I'm very sorry to keep you waiting. I was doing a little research here. I assume you would like to duel? I only duel at the club. I'm sorry, but could you meet me at, at the Grass Club? I will head back to the Grass Club and wait for you there. You're dang right you will. Let me come over here and fetch you just to do a duel. Okay, so then let's get back to the Grass Club. Alright. And then, let's see if we got any new mail. Just a curiosity. And we do. Alright. It's me, Dr. Mason. Have you won any Master Medals? I have some information for you about Nikki's deck. She's the master of the Grass Club. You must be wary of Executor's Big Egg Explosion. With Nikki's deck, use your Fire Pokemon to knock out, execute, and Executor at an early stage. I suggest you study the deck from the Fire Metal Deck Machine. I'll give you a booster pack that should contain a lot of Fire Pokemon. Well, we'll see about that. Computer Research, Dugon, RK9, that will never use, Radicate, Tangula. Yeah. Two fire type Pokemon, fire energy, and one of the Pokemon I'm not going to use. Yeah, it's a load of fire types. Thanks, Doc. Alright. So now let us really quick just look at our our total cards that we got here. So we got 270 cards. 270 cards. Okay, and I don't think we got anything new to really switch around in our decks yet. Hmm. 
All right. So let's go and find Nikki. There she is. All right, let's take on Nikki. I'm Nikki, the master of the grass club. I'm sorry, I kept you waiting. Shall we duel? All right, it's time to did it did it duel. <laughs> I've been trying to hold back the urge from doing that. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, and since we're doing a master uh, member duel, we have some new music to listen to. And we'll just listen to that for a quick second while I take a drink of my coffee. Alright. So we got nothing good we can use in our hand. And she had nothing she can use in her hand. So we both have to redraw hands again. And she still has no basic cards to use. Ooh, she does have Pokemon Breeder and a Venusaur. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to try to take her down as quick as we can, because with that Pokemon Breeder, she can fully evolve a three-stage Pokemon card, and I think, like, one move, so... Definitely have to be careful. Um... Alright, so... We actually have a nice little setup to to do one of my favorite little little brick walls I like to put up in this game. So we will put Lickitung out, Growlithe on the bench, and let's see who goes first. Please don't paralyze. Dang. That's all right. I can really do my my little brick wall strategy that I uh, was planning on. Then again, I could just put an energy card on for good measure, just in case. Never know. So we'll end our turn. No paralyze. Dang it. Okay. It's alright, still early in the match. Still early in the match. What is the retreat cost again for the time? I want it's two. Oh, it's three. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna put fire energy on Growlithe. And our turn. She's looking for something in her deck. Probably that Pokemon Breeder. Ah, <laughs> uh, and there it is. Put a stage to evolution card from your hand on the matching basic Pokemon. Yep, and I knew it too. It was going to do the Venusaur. I knew it. Energy transfer. Oh, wait. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this one. So Lickitung is poisoned. Okay, so we'll play Meowth on the bench. Fire Energy on Growlithe. And we'll attack with Tongue Wrap. Hopefully we'll be able to paralyze her. <laughs> and we don't. They can paralyze us all they want, but we can't paralyze them. Okay. How it goes here. <laughs> Alright, poison damage. 
I think you actually take a total of 20 points poison damage. 10 points at uh, the start of our turn and another 10 points at the end of our turn, I think. Something like that. Oh, she got execute out. Or, yeah, execute. Executor. Oh, I can't even get their name straight. <laughs> Foul order. Both the defending Pokemon and Gloom are now confused. Oh, boy. Well, at least you're confused with me. to poison. Oh, there's Chansey. Where were you at the start of this? Okay. So let's stick this lightning energy on Chansey. And then let's just uh, attack with another tongue wrap. Hopefully we hit. And we don't. We ended up knocking ourselves out. Okay. Dinosaur too. Alright, let's go Growlithe. What are you gonna do? Poison powder, huh? Come on, Tails. Darn. Okay. Choke. I don't want to use that either, really. Alright, let's attack with Flare. Should do 40 points of damage. Well, if we can hold out and she draws her entire deck out, we'll win that way. <laughs> I don't think it's... I don't think we're going to survive that long. Awesome. Did damage to herself. There we go. All right. 10 damage to the poison. Okay, fire energy. Alright. So, this episode is going to actually go a little past the time frame that I wanted. So, I'm actually going to sadly end the episode here. Hate to end it on a cliffhanger. Um, but in the next one, we will finish our duel with Nikki, the Grass Club Metal Master. And uh, hopefully we'll find that guy we were looking for in the next episode too. So until the next one, bye.